What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jose. I wanted to shed some light a little bit on philosophy because I believe that the philosophy of your life should reflect your life. The things that you say, you must be congruent with those things. Otherwise, you're gonna live a life that's fake. You're gonna say one thing and you're gonna get the complete other. Like people that make New Year's resolutions and they never seem to hit their goal. Why is that? Because of incongruency, that's why. And my philosophy is for you to be a successful individual, for you to be a successful man, you must have congruence within the words that you speak. If you say that you're going to do something, you fucking do it. And that comes with having the proper mindset. There's a lot of people that want to achieve a great amount of success, yet their mindset doesn't align with the things they want. They fall into this victim mentality of like, oh, you know, maybe someday I'll, I'll be able to do something like that. Oh, you know, hopefully, you know, if this happens or if that happens or if, always placing other external situations a priority over their own capabilities. When I look at my life, I don't look for cop outs. I don't look for externals to help me with the things that I have to do. I expect myself to deliver on those things. If I want something in life, I'm gonna go out there and fucking get it. I'm not gonna be in my head saying, oh, why me? Why Why am I living this life? You know, I deserve this, I deserve that. The, the reality is, is that I deserve exactly what the fuck I have in my life. Everything that I have in my life, I deserve the good and the bad. And that's a fucking fact. So having that mindset alone and understanding that, listen, this is all my fucking fault. Looking at life like this is my fault. That's the best perspective that you can have in life because only then you can actually have or give yourself control to change your fucking life. Because if you're putting the control on something else or somebody else, then you're leaving it up to that thing or that person to change the circumstances of your life. And I would rather empower myself than disempower myself. I would rather have the control to shift my life and to choose where I wanna go than give that priority or give that responsibility. It is a priority, but give that responsibility to something or someone else that I may that may or may not have my best interest in mind. Why the fuck would I do that? Exactly. So the first thing that I shifted in my life that made me successful was my mindset. Even if I didn't have a million dollars, even if I didn't have a hundred thousand dollars, right? Even if I wasn't making that much money, I would still be inspired by the people who were making that kind of money, which is the next section that I'm going to get into in a little bit. And I would positively talk to myself. I would have a positive rhetoric going on in my head, right? Every single day about my character, my discipline, my habits, who I am, the type of man that I am. And I started putting myself in a position where now I can live as the man who has those things that I desired at that point, right? How does that man that has that thing walk? How does that man that has that thing talk? How does that man that has that thing dress? I started studying my ideas. I started studying my mind. That's another thing too. Nobody fucking studies their own mind. Study your mind. Why do you think the things you think about? How are you capable of achieving those things? And where can you find the answer to get closer to the congruency of that thing which is what you want because you can't have you can't achieve a purpose without being the man that achieves that purpose you have to be congruent with that man so for you to be congruent with that man there's a lot of things that you have to set in motion for me it was waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning going to the gym coming home taking a cold shower reading Every now and then I would do some meditation to just tap into a higher frequency, a higher vibration to get me ready for the fucking day. And everybody has their own 
routine, their own way of doing it. This is how I did it. You can go back into my older videos. I'm not just saying this shit. I have videos that showed what my lifestyle was like when I was waking up in the morning. I'm still waking up at five in the morning. Go on Instagram and look at my fucking story. <laughs> you know? However, I understood that it was the actions that I needed to study, that I needed to learn, that I needed to upgrade into my life so then I could start to see the results manifest the more that I'm consistent with those things. And because I've been very consistent with those things, I have the fucking results, right? So the next phase that I wanted to tap into is environment because that's fucking huge. The environment that I tapped into by looking for the answers, looking for the fucking answers. I've came across a lot of networking groups, a lot of networking events, masterminds. I've been to so many different places and shake so many hands of successful individuals and learn from them that it consistently upgraded the way that I thought about life, the way that I thought about myself, and the habits that I would apply on a day-to-day. -day. And that's my next point. This is why I created a community of men who are dedicated to changing their fucking lives. Because I understand the importance of what it's like to be in an environment where you're around other men who are consistently pushing themselves to improve their lives. Consistently. Right? So in the BFP network, right? I'm not going to talk too much about it because I don't want to sound like it's a fucking sales pitch here, but I'm inspired to talking about it because it motivates me every single fucking day. Even though I'm the guy, I'm the main guy that's teaching the things that he's teaching, right? Talking about the things that he's talking about. And there's so much value in just being around a brotherhood of men who are just chasing excellence or not even chasing excellence, but attracting excellence by putting the right habits in place. And allowing time and life to do its part. Besides environment, besides mindset, the last thing that I want to touch on is endurance. You see, if you have the mindset, you could fucking achieve anything. If you have the environment, now you're more likely to achieve anything and everything you'd like because you're going to have a support team that's going to push you forward, right? But if you have endurance, now you can build a fucking legacy. You can build an empire because if you have endurance, it's not just about doing something once. You could go to the gym and, you, and if you've never lifted anything in your life, try to bench 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 400 pounds. Try it. Actually, don't try it. <laughs> because you're gonna end up hurting your fucking self. The reality is, is that we have to get in there and take a step by step. And if you don't start today, you're gonna be set back so many fucking steps and your life is just gonna keep getting harder and harder. Why? Because you're getting older. You look at even with the economy, right? Inflation, everything is being, it, it, it's, it's, it's cost more money, everything. You go to the grocery store, you could buy now what you could have bought for 200 bucks a year ago, now you end up spending 400, 500 bucks for the same amount of fucking groceries, right? Same thing with transportation, right? Gas, same thing with real estate, interest rates. Everything is going up in fucking price. However, again, remember what we talked about in the beginning of this video. You have no control over that. The only thing that you have control over is your own financial situation. And the best way to live a better and more fulfilled life, right, is applying this philosophy. Looking at your life circumstances and your life situation and improving the things that you can improve, which is your financial situation. Who the fuck are you going to talk to and try to bargain for the gas prices to go down? Good luck. <laughs> Focus on what you can control. Release the energy from the things that you can't control because you're probably spending so much time, focus, energy, and, 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 and just putting 
so much attention on the wrong shit that you that you can't do anything about. Like there's no other way to go about it, right? Focus on the things that you can control. Have a positive mindset, right? Speak to yourself, affirm yourself positively. Don't speak to yourself like you're a piece of shit. Speak to, unless you are a piece of fucking shit, then it makes sense why you wanna speak to yourself like that. Which is why, again, you start to take the proper actions, your mental rhetoric is gonna start to shift. It's gonna start to change. You're gonna start to believe in yourself a lot more. Let's say, for example, if you're fat and you're looking to lose weight, and you've been looking to lose weight for the last 10 years and you haven't been successful, I expect you to have a negative mental rhetoric. Why? Because you've been fat for 10 fucking years. But if you take a step and you go and you start going to the gym four, five, six, seven times a day, you start eating all the right foods and start and stop eating all the wrong foods, you'll slowly start to see your body shift. You'll slowly start to see your mindset shift. You'll slowly start to see you're making more money. You'll slowly start to see that you're getting more dates with women. You'll slowly start to see that you're more respected by men. And this is all correlated, everything. And it's like all intertwined. You do good in one thing and it just ripples with everything else. And that's why it's so important to be exposed to more success. But the only way to be exposed to more success is by being around an environment that is being successful. If you're fat and you're looking to lose weight, I like using the fat example because it's just so fucking easy to understand, right? If you're fat and you're looking to lose weight and you surround yourself with a bunch of men that, or people, let's say, because you could be a woman, and you surround yourself with people who are in shape, you're going to start to get in shape. Or else you're just not going to want to hang around these people because you're going to want to fucking eat all the time. <laughs> and nobody's as hungry as your fucking fat ass. That's just, the, that's just the reality of it, right? But if you start to surround yourself with people that have a specific diet, right? Train, work out, live a certain lifestyle, you're going to start to adapt a different lifestyle, a healthier lifestyle. And the changes are going to show. But if you start to hang out with all kinds of different people and you just allow and tolerate anything in your fucking circle, you're gonna be exactly that, a fucking fool. A fool with no direction that stands for nothing. I would rather curate my circle for the people that are like-minded, the people that understand that life is about hard work and you have to put in the work for you to be rewarded, for you to earn the things that you, have, that you want in life and that you have in life. Everything is earned, right? There's no such thing as something that you deserve that you don't have. You have everything that you fucking deserve, the good and the bad. And man, like that's pretty much fucking it. Start surrounding yourself with better people. Start having a more positive mental rhetoric by getting your fucking ass up and, and doing fucking work. Stop being so fucking lazy and stop being so arrogant. We can all learn from somebody. I'm always consistently learning. Every day I'm learning something new, every day right so just fucking stand up for yourself that's all I'm asking for you to do that's what I've been doing for myself because you know what if you don't stand up for yourself nobody's gonna fucking stand up for you nobody